Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Greg Pox, Darth Vader number 6 recently kicked off a new arc in the series and man oh man what an issue it was. Sidious goes wild on Vader's ass in this one and we also got a dope as hell tie in with the rise of Skywalker. There's a good amount to discuss with this issue so let's dive right in. Picking up in the Imperial Palace on Coruscant, which never fails to bum me out knowing it's the former Jedi Temple, Darth Sidious is using force lightning against his apprentice but Darth Vader is able to defend himself against the attack using his lightsaber to shield himself against Sidious's lightning. Vader asks his master why he's attacking him and Sidious has that chump, Grand Vizier Mas Amida, rifle off Vader's transgressions. Amida recounts that Vader failed in his attempt to lure Luke Skywalker to the dark side, that he set off on a personal mission afterwards instead of reporting back to the Emperor, and that he discovered a rebel cell and failed to kill Sabe, which could all be viewed as treason. Sidious then asks Amida what's done to traitors and the Chagrin orders the Emperor's royal guard to attack Vader. As they strike the Sith Apprentice, Sidious takes Vader's lightsaber away from him, but Vader is still able to incapacitate the guards. Masameda then pulls a blaster on Vader, but the Sith Apprentice uses the Force to choke the Chagrin and two royal guards, all while Sidious approvingly watches over. But Sidious again turns against his Apprentice, Force choking him and asking him how it feels to be weak, forcing Vader to recall the various people he's put in the same position over the years. Sidious continues on, asking Vader how this can be, since Anakin was the chosen one, destined to bring balance to the Force, and the Sith Master tells Vader that he's merely a tool that can be discarded at any time. Vader chimes in and states that Sidious lied to him about Padme's death, which prompts Sidious to respond by telling Vader he proves his point. It was Anakin's fear that drove him to Sidious in the dark side, and Sidious was able to turn that weakness in Anakin into a strength. But that fear that once resided in Anakin has returned, threatening Vader's power, so Sidious tells his apprentice he will teach him fear again so as to bring back his power. Sidious then uses the force to crush Vader's arms, legs, and various cybernetics and tells his apprentice he must forget everything but his emperor and relearn the importance of power above all else or he will die. Damn. We then come to Mustafar and see that Sidious has dropped his nearly crippled apprentice in the same spot he had found him all those years ago after his defeat at the hands of Obi-Wan, reminding Vader that he rebuilt him after he found him here. This time, however, the Sith master informs his apprentice, whose severed legs have now caught fire, that he will have to rebuild himself without tapping into the force, otherwise the exercise will quickly come to an end. As Sidious heads back to his shuttle, Vader tries to inch his way towards his lightsaber and has a flashback to when he killed Obi-Wan, only for Obi-Wan to turn into Sidious. Vader then grabs his lightsaber and begins to crawl away from the lava river. Back on Sidious's shuttle, Masameda informs the Sith Lord that Vader is making his way to the ruins of the Techno Union installation, which has a plethora of machinery resources to rebuild himself. Amida comments that Vader intends to kill Sidious, which prompts the Emperor to admonish the Grand Vizier for making such an obvious statement. Sidious states that he has turned Vader's pain into fear and fear into anger, and although his apprentice has learned and forgotten these lessons before, he will send Vader a reminder through freaking Ochi of Bastoon, Sith Assassin. And that's where the issue ends. Straight up, when I read this issue and saw Ochi of Bastoon would be hunting Vader, I literally said aloud, oh my god. What an awesome way to end the comic. Not only has Greg Pak done a fantastic job at connecting this series with the prequels, but now we're getting some connective tissue to the sequel trilogy and I absolutely love it. I'm still hoping we see Vader and or Sidious travel to Exegol, but this was a dope nod to the sequels and I can't wait to see what happens next. But what do you guys think about Darth Vader number 6 and Ochi of Bestoon making an appearance? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content, check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.